Please like share and subscribe the channel to show your support. When we are studying about the course of computer graphics, you will see that we are studying it step by step. That is at the uh, starting we discuss about the introduction of the computer graphics, the classification of the computer graphics. Next we discuss about the application of the computer graphics. After that we discuss about the uh, input and output devices related to the computer graphics and after that we discuss about the theory of frame buffer that is how the images are stored the next thing we started about the graphics algorithm that is how we can plot the uh, images from the mathematical equation to the on the screen so everything we have discussed that is we discuss about the uh, how we can plot the images that is that is up to that point now we are going to start about the topic which is about the graphics transformation that is you know how to plot the images on the screen after that we can start this operation this is called as graphics transformation what is transformation transformation meaning is that we are going to change something so uh, in this we are having the mathematical operation that we are going to apply on uh, geometry of any object uh, or you can say that the, and the geometric description of the object to change its position orientation and size these are the these operation we are going to uh, do with the help of the mathematics remember one thing that in the computer graphics always or in the background we are doing the mathematical operation so mathematics is very important geometry is very important for the graphic so uh, what it is saying that uh, to change the geometric description of the object uh, for its position orientation and size are called as geometric transformation or graphics transformation sometimes it is also referred as mathematical modeling or mathematical transformation the next thing is that what are the basic operations uh, we can apply on any object that is uh, translation rotation scaling sharing and reflection these operation are the basic operation we can apply on the two dimensional object and also for the three dimensional object in this session we are going to discuss about the two dimensional transformation that is we are going to apply the operation on the xy plane uh, the basic operation we are going to discuss today that is about the translation translation is the simplest operation inside the geometric transformation or graphics transformation it is the operation in which we can change the position of the object from one place to the another place we can change the position of the object and how can we will do suppose that this is the initial object before translation after translation we can change the position of the object how we can perform this operation on the computer screen to display uh, this operation we will use the pixel uh, only that is we will apply this operation on the pixel because it is not possible to apply the complete trans uh, translation at this object at one time uh, for description purpose only because in this object because this is the triangle and it is a uh, it is a polygon and maybe it is having 100 pixel or 1000 pixel so it is not possible to identify uh, that is how many pixels are inside this uh, po uh, this polygon or this triangle uh, because this is not only the three vertices this one this one and this one uh, this is not correct it, because this is polygon polygon meaning is that we are having multiple uh, pixels from this point to this point this point to this point and all the uh, polygon is filled so uh, it is having um, maybe 100 of pixel or maybe 1000 of the pixel that is the uh, part of the polygon uh, algorithm or polygon generation algorithm so it is not possible to apply the translation at one time on this one but in the uh, computer or uh, what the graphics processor will do we will uh, we will show the operation only for the single pixel and that operation will be applied for all the pixel at this place at one time in the graphics processor and it will be translated and it will translate the object at this place so we will see uh, the operation only for the single pixel not for the complete object at one time but the same operation we will apply on the complete object on the graphics processor while translating the object let us start about this one suppose that this is the initial uh, pixel position or you can say that the initial location of the object uh, this is we are applying only for the single pixel suppose that this is xy this is the initial position of the object and after applying the translation distance that is t t for tx and ty that is tx representing the translation distance for the x direction and ty is representing the translation distance with respect to the y direction so after translating maybe the object location or pixel position is this one so we move this position with this pixel position from this place to this place so this is the new pixel position 
the new pixel position is x dash y dash so how can we represent uh, this thing with the help of mathematical operation because we need to represent everything in the graphics with the help of mathematics so uh, first we should know that is what is translation distance that is tx and ty this is translation distance it will be given to you that is uh, how much uh, translation distance is given to you by which you can replace the pixel position from one place to the another place p is the original position and p dash is the new position of the pixel or you can say that for the object so we can write this equation uh, this operation with the help of mathematic mathematical equation x dash equal to x plus tx and y dash equal to y plus ty so with the help of this mathematical equation you can you can represent this operation so we can write uh, we cannot uh, do the uh, this cartesian operation on the computer graphics so we need to convert this into the format of the matrix for to perform the operation we need to convert this operation into the format of the matrix so how we can represent this thing so we can represent this thing p dash equal to p plus t t is representing translation operation so you can represent this operation with the help of two two methods or with the help of two matrix representation that is first is x dash y dash p is x y plus t is t x and t y this is the first math, uh, matrix representation for this operation or for the translation operation when you are going to calculate the value uh, this is the mat uh, matrix addition operation so simply the column uh, the uh, similar cells will be added to each other that is the 1 1 will be added to the 1 1 of this one that is x plus tx and 1 2 will be added with the uh, 1 2 of the another matrix that is uh, ty plus ty another representation you can uh, display this operation x dash y dash equal to x y plus t x t y so this operation we are representing with the help of 2 by 1 and this operation we are representing with the help of 1 by 2 matrix so both are correct you can use any uh, any matrix for your calculation purpose now uh, we are going to solve the problem related to the translation operation or you can say the two dimensional translation operation in this problem what is given to us translate the object for the single pixel the pixel position is given to us p 50 comma 50 with translation distance 100 comma 100 and we need to calculate the new pixel value for this pixel value after the translation operation this is the equation or matrix representation for this translation operation this is p dash equal to p plus t this is x y and t x t y this is quite simple operation this is just uh, matrix addition operation so you can perform this operation the original pixel position is given to us 50 comma 50 this is the addition operation and this is t x t y so this is translation distance for the t x is given to us 100 and for the translation distance for t y is given to us 100 so when you will go for the matrix addition operation the same cell will be added to the same cell that is 1 1 for the first matrix will be added to the 1 1 of the second matrix so we need to add this thing that is 50 plus 100 and the next same thing same thing 1 2 for the uh, this one uh, sorry 2 1 for the uh, first matrix and 2 1 for the second matrix so this will be again 50 plus 100 so the new pixel value will be 150 comma 150 that is after translation the old pixel is given to us 50 comma 50 after translation you will get the pixel value 150 comma 150 this is the solution for this problem this is the simple operation but this is only for the one pixel it is represented only for the one pixel but when we, we will apply the complete translation for the complete object so in this case this operation will be applied to the all pixel that is maybe if it is polygon suppose that for the square so 
if this is the plane so maybe inside this one we are hundred we are having hundred pixel one thousand pixel how many pixels are there we cannot uh, calculate because it depends upon the algorithm calling an algorithm so based upon that one how many pixels are there it is already this structure is already stored inside the frame buffer next when you will we will apply this translation operation it will be translated to the another position that is first the initial image the starting image will be stored inside the frame buffer then after we will apply the this translation operation and the new pixel position or the new image the new pix, uh, picture information will be available to the new frame buffer for this operation so this is about the translation operation